Pisces, you need to know this right now for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Pisces, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. You can tell me there's some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Pisces, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now you can tell me because of the tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe, you're walking away. Because of the mind games and manipulation, you're walking away. Or because they pissed you off. And you're just leaving the situation. Okay, Pisces, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Pisces very well could have commitment on the brain, but in tarot tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now Pisces, either you're trying to manifest ending things and leaving this relationship, or you're telling me you were trying to manifest a relationship or a commitment here, but it was a lot of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe, mind games, manipulation, and you're just ready to just give up on the situation. Could be mad about it. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out, for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So Pisces, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Pisces, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Mm -mm. Now Pisces, listen, I hope that you're not feeling spiteful and vengeful and feeling smug here because there's another offer coming into you are you trying to manifest a relationship somewhere else with someone else because they pissed you off <sighs> pisces you have the chariots could be dealing with a cancer but you're determined to move forward confidently victoriously successfully ahead now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Pisces. Clarify the chariot for Pisces. Clarify the chariot. For Pisces. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that there is a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed. Or break up. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Pisces, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now, didn't I just ask you... Like, are you keeping something close to your chest that you're moving towards something that makes you happy here and breaking up with this person? You're pissed off, breaking up, leaving? But something else good is happening over here. But did you do it out of spite? Now, 
And you can tell me that, you know, something was illuminated, something came to light to cause you to break up with this person, type of, some type of shocking revelation here, and now you're closed off and just moving forward. But you're moving forward to something, someone. You have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Is this like some type of travel? I invite the travel? Okay, clarify the eight of wands. For Pisces, clarify the Eight of Wands. For Pisces, clarify the Eight of Wands. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid. So Pisces, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. You know, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument, some type of back and forth, tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on here. And you're standing your ground. You're leaving. You're pissed off and you're leaving, but you're going somewhere. We're going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Pisces. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I pray that you will give me a second chance. I pray that you will give me a second chance. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Pisces. And it says, just being near you is intoxicating. Just being near you is intoxicating, Pisces. Pisces, you need to know this right now for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.